dental surgery here. You missed yesterday's checkup. Could you ring and make another appointment? Meg? Guess who? It's me. It's Jenny. I miss you, Meg. I just wanted to say hello. And I'm sorry about what happened, but I didn't know what else to do. Give my love to Leo and Gemma. I'll see you all soon. Very soon. Love you, Mick. Ah, Mick. Hi, Pinks. Can't stop. I'm sorry. You all right? She's out. Who is? Jenny Swift. I've got to get to my kids before she does. Mick, hang on a minute. Hello, love. How are you feeling? I saw it all on the telly. Post-dramatic stress thingy. His name's Mick. We were going to get married in the spring. I still love him. I'll always love him. But he betrayed me. I don't know if I can forgive him for that. Radio aerial out there now. What the devil's he up to? Oh, she's crossing the Hindu Kush on a mule now. Who is? Well, this woman. You know, oh, I told you this book. You ought to read it. A mule and a little stone. She meets all these Afghan tribesmen. Oh, do you know? I sometimes think. That sounds very uncomfortable and extremely cold. Oh no, 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 no. She's got all these layers of warm clothes on. She hasn't taken her vest off since they left Rawpindi. What's Carl's doing out there? I don't know, but as chairman of the BRA, I intend to find out. Did you see Mick? He's got a love, you've missed him. Oh, I'm supposed to be working there two till ten. I can't even get in. No, I was just saying, he walked straight past me, poor fella. But you can't take offence, though, can you? It's that post-traumatic stress thingy, like all them poor lads coming from Bosnia. Hey, your mother-in-law's just won herself 50 quid. You have a... I have. On a scratch card from the garage. What, are you going to spend this on it? Oh, I could use it for something sensible and boring, or I could just blow it on one mad splitch. Blow it on one mad splitch. Hey, I know where you can splurge it to, the party tonight. The party? Oh, yeah, this thing round at the Dixons. Oh, is it a party? Bev's mates do, you know, it's a catalogue party. Mm. I'll pick you up about seven. Yeah, OK, why not? Well, even if there's nothing we fancy, at least we'll get a glass of wine and a laugh out of it, which is more than I get at home. <laughs> Excuse us. You go and love. Well, I thought it was working, but it doesn't look like that. Oh, no, no. Taxis, what taxis? What is all that? Eddie's been kicking off about it. Just a sec, Ron. Kicking off about what? Well, the taxis outside your gym. It's been chaos. I knew it. I knew he'd be up to something the minute I let him off the leash. Why can't he just watch Fussy eh, and get fat like normal fellas? Sorry about that, Ron. What? He's what? Hanging onto the roof. <laughs> no idea, love. Nah, towards Jeff. Right against the wall. Hey, maybe he's practicing his cat burgling techniques, eh? <laughs> we could squeeze that one in there. It's a pity the room's so small. Oh, I do beg your pardon. No, Jack, not you. No, I was talking to... Jackie, that was a joke about the cat burgling Can techniques. You uh, any complaints about any of the other rooms? Oh, you're grumpy, you. Yeah. What's his blood pressure? Come on, off there. Uh, I'm on the phone here in case you haven't noticed. Ask her if she's coming tonight. Bev says, are you coming tonight? I think I'll have my samples laid up there. Yes, Aaron and Rosie Banks. Oh, good. She's laughed, Jackie. See, you like her. So, what are the Sakens like? Hey. I've got some amazing bargains in last season's swimwear. If you want a cosy from York, there's this drop dead white bikini. Uh, Jackie, it's chaos here, love. I'll call you about later, okay? Well, it's cut like a wonder bra, so you get this amazing Pamela Anderson cleavage. Bev, uh, can I have a word, please? Uh, well, we've got the buffet to do. Now. Um, I'll go into the kitchen then, shall I? Good idea. Ron, he doesn't mean it. Oh, don't mind me. Look, love, I understand how you feel, but it's this holiday. Oh, not again. No, no, listen, I'm, I'm not laying down the law or anything like that, but well, all this talk about bikinis. Bev, I don't want you to go, love, not with her. Wait till I'm better, eh? I'll take you to Mallorca any way you like. 
Come on, I want to go with Janice, and that's the whole point. I want to have some fun. Oh, you're a great big softy, you, aren't you, Ray? Will you stop looking so worried? You saying you can't have fun with me, like? Well, not that kind of fun, no. And, hey, I don't mean that kind of fun. Cheer up, it's only a holiday. And what about Josh? I can't look after Josh on my own. What if I have another turn? You'll be fine. And Josh is sorted. He's going to stay with me mum for the week. Hey, I've got loads of frozen dinners for you in the freezer. All labelled. All labelled. With dead easy instructions on. I did them. With dead easy instructions on, I did them. And that's another thing. She's getting to be a permanent fixture around here at Janice. When's she leaving? When she's ready. Oh, come on, Ron. I'll be a good little girl, promise. I'll be tucked up in my lonely little bed by four o'clock each morning. Honest. Hey, Mr Jealous Jocks, would I swap you for any other fella? I don't know. Would you? Look, I'm sorry. I've got a meeting in ten minutes with the chairman of the governors, and I... And that's more important than one of your pupils, is it? If you're talking about Leo, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. How do you know? Don't you watch the television? Don't you read the newspapers? My son, my whole family is living through a nightmare. Yes, I do realise that. Perhaps you should come in for a moment. Now, you two wait here. I'll deal with you afterwards. Hands out of your pockets, lad. Come in. It's a taxi business, that's what it is. He's running a bloody taxi business. Oh, how convenient. He can't do it, Gene. It's against council regulations. Corkhill, have you got a license for that thing? You are? Oh, I say. Do be careful. It does look awfully high up there. Oh, I'll see you later. Do you want a hand? Hang on. You're not going up there. No, dear, I thought you might like to. Jimmy! Oh, my God. Are you love? Get down here now! I don't want Leo being picked on by any of the teachers. Why on earth would they do that? Because she, Miss Swift, she was one of them. A colleague. Has Leo complained he's been picked on? No. Then let's not cross our bridges before we get to them, Mr Johnson. I suggest we play things down and see what happens. People forget very easily, you know. Well, that's really effective, isn't it? Play things down. Let's see what happens. That's a brilliant way of handling things. Yeah, you took that same angle the last time, didn't you? And I'll tell you exactly what happened. That woman made my life a living hell. I think what I actually said at the time, Mr. Johnson, was that I couldn't interfere with my staff's personal relationships. But that's just it. There was no relationship. The woman is sick. She had a gun at my head. But the point is, she's in custody now. It's over. So let Leo get on with his normal life with as little fuss as possible. What normal life? She could be out tomorrow. She phoned me. She could be out now. I don't think that's very likely, Mr. Johnson. What if she turned up here? She could walk in. Who's going to stop her? And what about her job? I mean, is she suspended? Or can she just swan straight back in? No, no, I can't take the risk. I think you're getting things just a little bit out of proportion. Out of what? Oh, for God's sake. Where is he? Where's Leo? Look, Mr. Johnson, please sit down. I'm not leaving him here. Look, please. I'm taking him home. He'll be safe there. But you can't do that. A scratch pad. Five lovely fat tennis. Oh. All contributions Ugh. to the fighting fund gratefully accepted. Um, well, actually... I can't rely on getting legal aid, love. Yeah, I know, but easy come, easy go, eh? I thought, um, I might just blow the lot of it. Oh, aye. Right. What on? Clothes. That catalogue party around the deco's tonight. I thought I might give myself a bit of a treat. Mm, spend, 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 eh? <laughs> so, uh, what else do you want me to agree to? Yeah, and the thing is, I'll be able to put something regular aside every month now. Doc signed me off. Says I can go back to work on Monday. Hey, well, I mean, that's got to be worth a kiss in anyone's money, hasn't it? <laughs> Come here. So, better start something quick for tea, eh? Sit down. Come on, kid, sit down. Now, is that comfy or is that comfy? Hey, can I get you a drink? Look at this. Zama! What are you having, gin and tonic or a chinzano and lemon? So, come on, watch the scam, eh? It must be a bloody good one. You don't earn this kind of money down that club. Well, actually, love, 
I've given up the club. You was? Well, when this Dill fella started... You've given up your job without even... For God's sake, Jimmy, that was regular wages. What are we supposed to live on, eh? Morph, you didn't have a decent word to say for it when I started. So how come you can afford all this, then, eh? The horses. Jack, honest to swear to you, I can prove it, kid. Give me some credit, Jimmy. You don't go on winning week after week. But I was. I was. Until I started losing. Oh, God. Oh, God, Jimmy. What are we supposed to do for cash, eh? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, kid. I mean, what I've done, I've made a little bit of a what's it? Unilateral thingy, decision for us. And, uh, well, I've spent every penny I've got left getting a little business together. A business? A taxi business. Got it in one, kid. You've bought a taxi business? Well, the radio's, yeah. And is it legal? Oh, I kid you, 100%. Listen, got the phone sorted, got the licence. Good. Well, I haven't actually got the licence, but I'm getting it, you know. And, uh, listen, thing is, I was thinking, well, you know, with me having a criminal record and everything, well, um, how about I put the business in your name? Well, you mean I'll own it? Well, in name, yeah. A businesswoman? Me? Well, you know, I'll do all the hands-on stuff and you'll just be the Al Butsy. Figure it. Well, then. Better make that a chinsano and lemonade, then, hadn't you? Whatever you want, kid. Anything you want, you get. Hey, listen, and I'll tell you something as well. I've been thinking. Done Roman. Pardon? Well, you know. Business people, property owners. I thought to myself, well, this house has got to have a proper, solid name. So, Done Roman. You know, Done Roman. More or less sums it up, that, doesn't it? I'm not moving in, Jim. Oh, Jack! Not until you've got us some business premises. I want a proper office. As soon as that dirty great aerial's off my roof and them taxi drivers are off my lawn, then, then, I might just consider it. Leo, excuse me, I've come to get my son. Come on, quick, and get Gemma. I'm doing an experiment, Dad. You're not staying here, it's not safe. Mr. Johnson! Come on, son. Go on. Mr. Johnson, please, wait! Fat in your life. I do. Old and fat. Oh, what can I wear? I'll tell you what, love. This is not the body of a 14 year old. No way. So, what did the doc. I mean, um, this. this unclear for work, does it mean. you it's gonna be okay just to try, you know, dead gently? Oh, come on, babes. There's no one in. Oh, God, Rose. Oh no. Ooh. Feels like months. Oh, Jackie said she'd call. I'm just off. I won't be late. Jean, listen. Manford Street, the flats, number 116, 160. And over and out. It's Jimmy Corkill. Hey, listen, get us some chips on your way back, will you? Over and out. It's probably a code. In which case, he's no doubt using it for some nefarious purpose. Oh, David, of course it's not a code. It's Jimmy Corkill, not James Bond. Oh, talking of which, now, you know that book I was telling you I was reading? Jean, we are not crossing the Hindu Kush on a mule. No, but we do need a holiday. Nor are we canoeing down the Amazon in a hollowed-out tree trunk. Oh, wouldn't that be exciting? No, 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 I, nothing so exotic. I was thinking more like a trip down the Nile. Can't afford it, I'm afraid, my dear. Only because one of us is prone to making rash promises. All right, now, if we can't manage a trip down the Nile, how about... Bath? Pardon? I booked it this afternoon. I thought a nice long weekend down there would quench your wanderlust a little. A weekend in Bath? Bath, my dear, has some of the finest neoclassical architecture in Europe. Americans come from miles to see it. 
Well, they'd have to, wouldn't they? I booked us a coach trip with Golden Oldies. Golden what? Travel and adventure for the over 60s. They do a wonderful deal, including the Roman baths, the Abbey, and the pump room. Hey, all right, Ron. Hiya. Good night. Have yourself a drink and we'll get started. Ron, you get Rosie and Jackie a drink. What are you having? Hey, look at that. Yeah, go on, I'll have the same. What the bloody hell are they here? Is there no fellas coming? Oh, you're doing a smashing job, Ron. Isn't he cuddly, eh? Oh. <laughs> so where are you looking to have anyone? I saw the sign up. Hey, come on, Ron. Get the drinks and we want to get started. Anyone fancy a top up? Uh, oh. Talking about moving, well, me and Carl. We're going to be like proper neighbours now. We're moving to number five this week. All right, then, girls. Let's get the show on the road, eh? Thought I'd start off with a little bit of boudoir magic. Oh, yeah. A little something for those nights when you've got a spot of hot seduction in mind. <laughs> oh, it's a bit too late for that. Oh, hey. sorry I'm late. It's never too late to hoover fella. Oh, well, find me one who isn't deaf or seen, I love, and I'll hoover. <laughs> <laughs> the city is worth a second look. Once you've done the standard sights, the Egyptian Museum, the Dad. pyramids in Memphis... Yeah? Take the time to will me and Jem's go to school tomorrow, or...? I don't think so, Lee. Well, when will we go back to school then, Dad? I don't know, son. I don't know. When it's safe. <laughs> oh, look, it's too short. Is it, eh? It looks like that. I'm 40, Jack. Oh, well, we're both grannies, so what? Try the jacket. Everyone decent in here? Come in. Only £39.50 or £2.50 on the weekly. <sighs> Do you think this is too short, Jean? Too short? Nonsense. I don't want to look like Morton dressed as lamb. Oh, go on. Live dangerously. You can afford it. She won 50 quid on the scratch cards. Really? Scratch cards? Oh, I must try that. We've been doing the lottery for months, but... So have we since it started. Not a penny. <laughs> ah, well, you see, the thing is, to get a syndicate going... Well, that's a good idea. Now, if the two of you do it together, say, two quid each, well, it doubles your chances of winning, doesn't it? Four rows for two quid. Then if you win, you split it. My mate Jean is in a syndicate, and they won 15 grand. 15? Well, it only worked out 300 each, because it was the whole office. But that's why you want to keep it small. Well, how about it, then? You and Eddie and me and David. Count us in, love. Well, so this is where you all are. There's people changing everywhere. Bev. Excuse me, girls. Get rid of them. Julia Brogan is trying after a catalogue of that So? So I'm bursting here. Well, cross your legs or go outside. I don't know, go next door. This is my house, you know. Ron, it's my party. Come on, go have a pint with Eddie. If you like a wet weekend, go on, Ron. Half an hour. Do you hear? No more. Then I want this place clear of naked women. Right, girls, buffet will be ready in five minutes. I'll just get the samosas out the oven. I'll give you a hand. Tell you what I've got. A little black bust here. It'll look lovely under that. Hang on. So, you made your mind up then about moving back in with our car? Mm. Thought we'd give it a try, yeah? Don't make your mind up too quick, love. Not gonna be a bed of roses. I know our car. So, what do you think, then? Uh, is it a bit short? I said it was too short. I look ridiculous. She didn't say that, did you, Sarah? No, she did, and she's right. Look, love, um, do us a favour. Pop down and see what's happened to that bustier thing. Yeah, right. I'm too old for this stuff, Jack. Will you shut up about being old? Well, people will think I'm on the pull, like I'm pretending to be 18 oh, again. So far. <laughs> so, I'm not 18. Next up, 50. Oh, remember what it was like that way. Be that young. <laughs> yeah. Knowing you were a knockout, getting the eye, a buzz. Half the fellas in the disco fancying you're on. Right. Sounds like you're right for a little adventure. Me? Really? Oh, God, no. No. Oh, for one thing, I'd never dare take my clothes off in front of some strange fella. My stomach's like a relief map of the Pennines. Battle scars, love, you've lived. <sighs> I just need someone to tell me I'm still in the game. <laughs> and you're ready, won't you? Ready, y'all. He'd love me if I lost all my teeth and grew scales. <laughs> it's not enough. I need... I, I don't want to sleep with anyone. I, I just... I just need that buzz again. I just want to make sure that I, I'm still OK. I'm still fit. Oh, God. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm embarrassing myself now. Just taking a notice. To tell her the truth, I was glad to get out. House full of women, all in the knack over there. <laughs> we'll take these over there then, shall we? Oh, be wasted on me, mate, I tell you. You can march a hardy, my naked women through here. I'm banned. Doctor's orders. Well, Bev's orders. 
That's tough. Dead right. Uh, only temporary, of course, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Mind you, actually, um, she's right, you know, I mean, I can't complain. Yeah, we're in, uh, we're in a similar sort of situation, really. You know about Rosie's up. Well, I knew she was in the Aussie lot, yeah. Fullest of it. No. The full Monty. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that, Eddie. <sighs> Poor old Rosie. Yep. Well, I don't suppose she'd be feeling up to much in that kind of line then for a bit, will she? Well, she's had the all clear from the dock, like, but... Uh... Yeah, but even so, Ed, it takes time, doesn't it? Especially after an up like that. Yeah, yeah. How much time now? Jack. Um, do you reckon Ron wears pyjamas? Have you never... No, doesn't matter. What? No, it... Have you ever, like, gone off it? I mean, completely gone off it. Gone off what, love? Sex. Only with Jimmy. No. Seriously. Well, off sex or off Eddie? I don't know. Both. I... Julian singing. Imagine. What a hoot. You're going on about yaks, milk and stuff. <laughs> oh, come down. Oh, uh, sorry. I love him. I think I love him. Well, sometimes, honestly, Jack, I'd... I just don't seem to feel anything anymore. Except, like, boredom. And I, I sort of panic if he, he comes too close. What sort of compensation can they pay me for that, eh? I'm, I'm suing them, but what's the point? It's not going to do me any good. It's not going to change anything, is it? Hello? What do you want? Mick! It's me, David Crosby. Are you all right? Fine. I'm fine. We're shut. Yes, yes, I know. It's just that Jean went to this sort of party, so I thought I'd pop round and see if everything was OK. Is there any news? Actually, honey, it would be a bit easier if you could open the door. No, I can't. Why, what's wrong with it? She could be anywhere. Out there. Hiding in one of them cars. Waiting. Look, have you actually rung up and checked whether she's still in custody? I tell you what, open the door, we'll have a cup of coffee and I'll... No, I can't. I can't let the kids go back to school. I can't even open my own front door. God almighty, David, I'm the one who's in prison. Not here. I'd rather have hairy legs than you ripping the skin off me. This will cost you loads. Have you got it done in a salon? All the name of beauty, eh? Well, you don't want to look like Wolf Woman walking down the beach, do you? No, but... Well, stop moaning then. We're going to look like supermodels when we hit that beach. You know, I feel terrible spending all day shopping and having my hair done. I should be with Ron and Josh, shouldn't I? I mean, how is he going to feel watching me get all glammed up to go on holiday without him? 
Look, you deserve a break. I'm sure he doesn't want you walking around looking like a sweat, does he? Now, come on. We all have to suffer a little bit for our beauty. Use your video to watch something. Uh, yeah, come and help yourself. I just got my video of the siege back off the plot. This is the first chance I've got to see what's on it. How's it been going with your video? Well, not very good. I could have done a video of a band playing in Manchester at the weekend, but I had to knock it back because I had no transport. What a pain. I don't believe it. It's been wiped. Um, your dad said he got the video back from the police. Come in, Mick. Yeah, well, I have, like, but they've wiped it. You sure? Positive. Is it definitely the same tape? Yeah. Why would the police want to wipe it? I don't know. Well, if you do find anything, I'd be interested in seeing it. Mick, I'm going to the supermarket later. Do you want me to take the kids, give you a bit of a break? Uh, no, thanks. Well, do you need any shot and picking up or anything? No. Look, thanks. Right, see you. See ya. What's eating then? Oh, he's still a bit weird, isn't he? Yeah, I reckon he thought it was lying. No. Defo, he seems a bit paranoid to me, like he thought I was keeping it from him. Oh, he's just got a lot on his mind, that's all. He's been through a lot, hasn't he? <sighs> he's been watching the X-Files too much, if you'd ask me. See you later. See ya. Are you ready? What are you doing? Carrying you over the threshold. I don't know. It's going on a diet, I don't know. Yeah, well, then, you can add us into one you house. Come on, Bex. Can you be the first one? Aye, aye, kids. Welcome to the neighbourhood. Hey, you've heard of Bra, haven't you? Well, I am Paul, in the Brookside Association of Latest Locals. That's balls to you and me. <laughs> all right, Jimmy. Leave me also your breakaway group, eh? Fair enough. Hey, listen, uh, I'll be over later. Make a withdrawal, you know, out of the alcohol loft. Yeah, OK. I'll let you know when the coast's clear, all right? Mm, yeah. Just leave them in here, I'll sort out what's going well later. You're gonna get your stuff from your mum's now or after? Oh, hiya. Hi, love. Just popped over to welcome the new kids onto the close and to say good luck. <laughs> oh, good I'll see you after. Yeah, all right, all right. What did he want? Oh, nothing really. Just come over to wish us good luck on our new house. See you, love. Hello, my son. What can I do you for? Uh, any chance of 15 quid for me test this heavy? How you been? Yeah. Advertising now, have you right? Uh, just doing me bit for charity. Road safety campaign, trying to get the kids to belt up. You see, the thing is, Bing, I like to think of the humble corner shop as your centre of information and guidance. And if it brings a few more customers in at the same time, what's the worry? Hmm. Suppose you'll be wanting your money for the lesson before the test as well, will you? Um, no, I'd rather save that for the celebrations afterwards. Oh, I think you're pushing it, expecting to jump in a car cold and pass your test. Yeah, that'll be all right. Hey, Bing, couldn't you give him a lesson beforehand? Ooh. Well, I mean, all he needs is a car and someone to sit in it with him, don't you, son? Well, yeah, but... So what do you think? You'd be able to help him out? <sighs> well, I suppose I could, yes. Well, if you're sure. Hey, anything to help a neighbour, eh? Well, of course. Listen, I'll give you a knock about one if that's OK, then. Right, then. See you later. Hey, good luck, son. Yeah. Hope you pass, love. Oh. Hey, has anyone seen anything of me? Oh, well, I heard he dragged the kids out of school the other day. How are they coping with it all? Oh, well. Listen, do you think I should go around and see him? You know, check for all right. I think that's an excellent idea, Jackie. And as the residence representative, I'll gladly accompany you. Although, strictly speaking, of course, he isn't one of us. Uh, that is a resident of the close, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's 160, love, please. Oh. Listen, we could go now, you know. Um, that's if it's all right, like. Ah, yeah, well, we're a bit busy this morning, aren't we? There again, I suppose I could always manage on my Todd for a bit. Oh, I feel like I've been skinned. Half an hour on the stone bed. Nice day, do you look and feel like a million dollars? Yeah, in forged notes. Hey, your sign's gone. Aren't you moving anymore? Nah, wrong give up in the end. Just trying to creep round me, you know, because of this holiday. Ah. Uh, I'm going to Rosie Thingy. He's got to drop this off. All oh, right. What's you ordered? Well, a fur, but I think a fella will get more enjoyment out of them. Oh, yeah. Something to spice up bedtime, eh? Well, put it this way. I didn't think he'd be staying up to watch the footy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're out. Oh, 
Oh, Meg, we just wondered if there was anything you needed. We're fine. See ya. Oh, how about the children? What about them? How are they? Do they need... Kids don't need anything. Just their dad. Well, we were just worried about you, that's all, Mick. You know, we came to offer to help. I mean, if you need anything doing, like messages or babysitting. Well, thanks for worrying, but we don't need anyone or anything. Perhaps we could drop the children off at school for you or pick them up or something. They won't be going to school. From now on, I'm going to teach them myself. In the flat? Can you do that? Just watch me. Look, thanks for your concern, but we're all right. So whereabouts in Spain are you going? Mallorca. Bad love. Oh, you're messing. Well, I could have gone on a freebie to a hairdressing show next weekend in Parma. Oh, we could have met up. You're turning down a free weekend in Spain? Well, I've done this trade show a few times. It's a great laugh that you spend all day styling and all night partying. By the time you get back, you need a holiday. So you know all the good clubs, then? Oh, well, I'll see. Oh, go! you can show us all the good clubs. It'll be a laugh. Now, I don't think you two will need you and where to have a good time, will you? I wouldn't go to that Spain if you paid me. All that hot weather and then Spanish waiters trying to reduce you. And you can't even drink the water. The only water I ever bother with is tonic in my vodka. Oh, come on. Don't be a bore. I was just leaving this place for the whole weekend so soon after we've opened and God knows what Jackie would say. And what can she say? You're out there checking out the latest hairstyles, aren't you? I suppose Bernie could handle a Saturday on her own. I think we've got him, Jan. Hey. If I went with you, I could take you for cocktails in the Abaco. Oh, it's the best place you've ever had a bevy. It's dead old and full of fruit and flowers. And fellas. Don't worry, there's plenty of places to cop off. <laughs> well, you won't be doing any gallivanting. Not with your little one in tow. Oh, no. Oh, Josh is staying with me, Mum. You are? You're flitting off and leaving your little one behind? Of course she is. <laughs> I don't know. Mothers these days, in my day, we wouldn't have dreamed about abandoning our little ones. So are you definitely going to come? Oh, I don't know. Oh, just think, we'll be all tanned and you'll be milky, the milk bottle. Yeah, I can see it now. You'll be hanging round out here dressed in your little white skimpy numbers torment me with your bronzies. You gonna come then? Oh, uh, why not? You don't need live once, don't you? Well, uh, if you do go, we'll probably best not mention it to Ron. I mean, he's not happy about the two of us going away, let alone if there's a feller as well. Hey, right, the three musketeers, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, Bing. What can I do for you, mate? I thought a strategy meeting to plan our lottery syndicate was in order, old son. Uh, pound in off each of us. That's all there is to it, isn't it? All right, Mr. Crosby. Hello, Lee. Yes, but I've been trying to work out how best to pick the numbers. Oh, we've got our numbers. All the family dates and that. Yes, but, um, I think you'll find that if you studied all the winning numbers drawn so far, the chances of winning using dates, that is to say numbers below 32, are considerably less than by using all the numbers available. Now, if... Hang on, mate. <laughs> Don't be bombarding me with all figures. No, no, no. What I'm suggesting is that we would stand a much better chance of winning if we tried to come up with some sort of system. Listen, our Lee's the mathematician in our house. Why don't you have a word with him? Maybe he can help you work out your system using his computer. Lee! We might even win back some of the money we spent on it. <laughs> yeah? Mr Crosby needs some help with some figures. Can you help him out on your computer? Well, it depends what you want and if you've got a programme to do it. Well, I've got to get off for an hour or so now, but I could call back later. Well, I'm in after four o'clock. Well, that's splendidly splendid. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's much more like it, isn't it? A computer-aided lottery entry. We could devise a system using all of our numbers. I think Rosie's going to want to use the numbers we've got, mate. Oh, um, look, I think I'd better get off. I promised to take Mike Dixon to his driving test. Better give the Cortina a once-over first, be on the safe side. Uh, right, I'll uh, see you later. Bye. See you, Bing. Hi, hi. Hi, you, uh, I'm sorry, but this came to ours and I opened it by mistake. Uh, what's it say in my letter? Well, I haven't read it. I only opened it because I thought it was a bill for the flat and then I saw what it was. It's from Jenny? I know. She says, I'm sorry, but I don't believe this. She's locked away for threatening to kill me. They're letting her send me letters. Do you think they'd check her letters, wouldn't you? I'm going to the prison authorities to see what the hell's going on. Oh, I don't blame you. I mean, even though she's locked up, she still won't leave me alone. They even let her phone me. What if she gets out? I'll never get rid of her. 
Hey, look what Mrs. Crosby's made us. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks. Just a small gesture to welcome you as neighbours. Uh, I'll put the kettle on. We can have some of the cup of tea. Oh, not for me, thanks. I've got to get back to the shop. Oh, by the way, how are you settling in? Oh, it's really easy. All we've got to do is move our clothes in. We're using the furniture that's in here, apart from a few bits and pieces of our own. Well, best of luck. And if you ever need to borrow a cup of sugar... <laughs> Bye. See ya. Well, thanks again. Oh, wasn't that really nice of her? <sighs> A big house and a nice area and good neighbours. I don't think we could ask for anything more. Oh, we're gonna love it here. Be just like it used to be, we'll be a family again. It'll be even better. Yeah. Right, should we make a start on the bedroom then? Uh, finish putting Barry's stuff in the garage first. That's the last of it. Uh, I'm just gonna go and see what's over there. It won't be a minute, get cooking on the bedroom. Okay, try that. No, nothing. Don't worry, it'll start in a minute. I'll have you there in time. What's the problem? I don't know, but it better start soon. We just on my way to me test. All right, when is it? Half an hour. Looks like I'll have to jump in a cab. Michael, have another go. Will it make it? Fingers crossed. Right. Go for your mirror. Signal. Maneuver and off. See ya. Good luck. Oh, didn't hear you come in. Just been having a lie down. Oh, put the cattle on, love, and parched. Eddie, what? Looking for me, lover. God, I feel so liberated. All these years trapped in men's clothes, now I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you like, then, Rose? <laughs> hey, you're saying I've got no. <laughs> Rose? Oh, come on, I'm only messing. Who said you could open them? I didn't. They'd been pushed through the letterbox, all the packaging was ripped. So you thought you'd make fun of me? No, I was just having a laugh. Hang on a minute. You're having me on, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm just having a laugh, are you? Well, I laugh at your wife because she wanted to feel attractive for you. You look attractive enough to me as you are. You don't have to get dressed up in fancy underwear to get our sex life going. Sex? Who mentioned anything about sex? Why does it have to be for sex? Well, what are they for if they're not for seduction? I just... I just wanted to feel desirable. Not, not just physical and... Oh, I don't know. Definitely not to be laughed at. I love the <clears throat> All right, son. Anything when you tell me about that? I bet you've taken up all the space in the wardrobe. There's none left for me. Sarah, where's all your clothes and stuff? The... in the other bedroom. Yeah, but this one's the biggest. This is our room. Your room. Mine? I just thought we should take it slowly. Well, we are doing. We haven't slept together since the holiday. We haven't lived together for months. Florida was a spare-of-the-moment thing, but living together's different. We could be at each other's throats after a few days. We won't. Not here. I hope we won't. But, Carl, getting on together isn't just about the house. I mean, it's lovely and everything, but this is about us, how we get on with one another. I really wanted to work this time, so let's just take it slowly and make sure we get it right. Well, what about Becca? What do we tell her? We've been living in separate houses since last year, so separate bedrooms is hardly going to seem strange to Becca. OK, whatever you want. Since we've been together, we've rushed everything. Having Becca, getting married, even splitting up. It was all done too quick. This time, let's give ourselves a chance to get it right. Yeah, you're right. I just couldn't handle another breakup. Right.
Right. I'm going to go to the shops and get us something really nice for our first tea in our new house. You don't mind giving me lift to the parade, do you? Love, only my corns are playing up, and I don't think I could make it back. All right, he's on your learner. Hold your horses. I think you better get a move on. You all right, mate? Yeah, just thought I saw. So. Did you find the prison? Yeah, they just fobbed me off and told me to complain about it in writing. Yeah, well, you should do. Well, why? They'll do nothing about it. In fact, they'll probably let her out so that she can come and finish the job. I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see ya. So, therefore, the odds of winning the lottery with a one-pound stake would be... 13,983,000... 816 to, to one. 1. You see that, Eddie? Now, if we were to select 24 different numbers, we could cut our odds down to... <laughs> Just under three and a half million. So, you see, it really is a total folly sticking to family birthdays. Lee, can we get back to the probability page, please? Yeah, well, if it was hooked up to the internet, I could probably find pages just dedicated to lottery statistics and systems. Really? So, what you're saying is that this... I think our Lee's given Bing the computer bug in there. Come to see if there's any more of me underwear you can try on. Shh, keep your voice down with you, eh? Look, about all that before, I'm, I'm sorry that I upset you. I was trying to help improve things between us. I know, when I messed up, I was just trying to cheer you up, that's all. It's as much my fault as yours. I just don't know what to do about it all. Won't be long. Ta-da! What are you doing here, sir? There's well, only just a second left. Oh, don't be so nervous. No harm in a neighbour calling round. There is when he sneaks in the back to hide his drug money. Oh, Hurry up. Yeah. Just get your stuff and get off before she comes oh, back. Right. Oh, hi, son. How did it go? Oh, no luck, eh? Well, I can drive and I can drive, but I failed just because I did a few things wrong. Ah, never mind. Most people don't pass on the first attempt. Why oh, is it? I couldn't believe it either. Oh, it's rubbish. Still am. <laughs> <laughs> Side cocktail. Oh, tequila sunrise and a Mallorca sunset. Make my animals full orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, how did you task her? Well, you better ask Julia Brogan that. See you later. Yes, hello, son. Um, not been to pick up your son yet? Hello, dear. No, I'm on my way. I'll just pop next door and see Peter about the holiday. Bye. See you in Swizzle. All right, Jan. Uh, what's Fruit Boy got to do with the holiday? Oh, uh, when we were getting our hair done before, he said he'd get us the addresses of some good restaurants over there. Oh, your hair looks lovely. Did you have a makeover as well? Tar. Yeah, got the full works. Leg wax and all. Hey, hang on. That ponce hasn't been near you. Your privates, has he? A leg wax. Right to the top. I don't believe all this. You're swanning off, leaving me and little Josh, then you spend all day shopping and being petted and preened by that puff next door. Now, listen to me, Ron. I deserve a holiday as much as the next person. Deserve? I'll tell you about deserve. 
Ah, Josh deserves to have his mother with him, but instead she's going to be hanging around pools and God knows what else in Spain. What kind of a mother do you call yourself? I'm going on this holiday, whether you like it or not. And unless you stop being horrible to me, I might not come back. Carl? Yeah? Quick, get back up. <sighs> I've got all the way there and realised I'd left my purse. What are you doing? Just getting some of Barry's stuff out the way up here. Oh, can I have a look? Has it been converted? Uh, no, it's dead dirty. It's not very safe. Oh, why? Are you worried about me? Yeah, of course I am. Listen, you do understand about this separate bedrooms thing, don't you? You do realise why I'm doing it? Yeah, of course I do. Listen, where's Becca and you better see to her? Oh, she's fine. She's playing out in the back. Listen, thanks for understanding. See you in a bit. Separate bedrooms, eh, kid? Uh, well, I know how you feel. You know, with Jackie not moving in with me. Must be hard, eh, kid? Hey, never mind my private life. Have you got your stuff? What's your tone, you? You and your missus wouldn't have the option of separate bedrooms if I hadn't set you up here. Yeah, I don't want to find an out. I don't want to take chances. Oh, is that right? Well, give me my own key to this place, then I can slip in and out when no one's around. You can't just come and go when you please, you know. Oh, can't I? Listen, I'm paying for all this, so I reckon I can do whatever I like. Unless, of course, you want to tell the little wife that she can't live here anymore because you've got cold feet over our deal. Selection of Brookside books are available from most bookshops. I'm sorry, son. Didn't have time to pick up your prezzy today. Oh, it's all right. Well, listen, I'm going down the shop, so uh, I'll bring it back with me. OK. Make it is. Oh, thanks, son. Mm. Right, I want you to start that work I set you at 9 o'clock, OK? Why do we always have to be stuck in all the time, Dad? Can't we have a play out? No. You have to pretend this is school. Oh, Dad, at least we can have a kick around on the way to school before the bell goes. Never mind our Dad. Now, nine o'clock. That's what time you start work at school, so that's what time you start work here. I'll see you in a bit. 
And don't answer the door to anyone. I won't be long. Right. So, how did your first weekend in the new house go, look? Brilliant. Fair and back in love with Oh, yeah. You don't live here anymore, lad. You can't keep raiding the fridge like that. Aren't you taking a notice? This will always be your home. You help yourself, love. Does that mean I can borrow the ghetto blaster after? I want some sounds when I do the garden. <laughs> you cheeky guest. <laughs> Big house like that, you're on the cadge already. Hey, typical of the middle classes, eh, Rob? Help yourself, love. Oops, sir. Yeah, and remember to put it back there when you finish with it. Don't be going on, Molly, dear. You'll never visit us. Oh, I don't need one as long as that fridge is full, he'll visit. I'm going to shoot round for the papers after this, love. Is anything you want? No, thanks. Who's that from? Solicitors. She's just put into writing what she told us the other day. Could all take years, you know. Well, she warned us it might, and it's uh, not going to be cheap. Do you think we're doing the right thing? Well, if it's what you want, then yeah, I do. But if you're not sure, we don't have to press on with it straight away. As long as you start the claim within three years of the op. Yeah, but the longer we put it off, the less determined we'll be. In the end, we'll probably just let it go, and I don't want that to happen. Then we keep it up, whatever the consequences. Good morning, Ron. Not really, Bing. Those builders are making the right rackets upstairs. I just about made myself think. Young Jackie's beauty parlour, isn't it? Yeah, so I can hardly make a big fuss about it all, can I? Oh! Congratulations, Renaud outside. I had a spot of luck on the lottery this weekend. Go away, how much? Ten pounds. Oh, they didn't. Ten pounds? I thought you were talking about the jackpot or something. Hey, Mick, we got a lottery winner here. Bing's won a tenner. But he's not going to let it change his life, are you, mate? I'm sorry, but I've changed my mind. Oh, why? I must have been mad. I mean, it's far too young for me. God knows what I was doing, ordering skimpy mini skirts. You've got a smashing figure. Yeah, look great on you, this stuff. No, I'll I'll leave it for now. You could at least have a try on while it's here. It's a good one. Hello. Hi, love. Hey, love. Hey, That's a lot now, thank you. All right, see you later. All right, Carl. Could do with the cab there, okay? Dumping all that gear. Oh, yeah, to go over the road. I don't think so. Only trying to boost business, that's all. Hey, listen, if you're ever interested in working on the cabs for me, always one waiting for you, kid. I don't think the taxis pay as well as nightclub management. Well, I think that depends on the cab company you're working for, doesn't it? Hey, you could earn yourself lots of extras from selected fares with me. What do you mean? Well, let's just say a few special deliveries, eh? Bump up your wages by a few hundred quid, yeah? Till the dog doesn't pay you that sort of poke, does he, kid? You're using your cars to deliver gear. Well, let's just say that both my interests are running in harmony at the moment. Why don't you just go straight with the cab, spin the drug dealing? <laughs> what, and turn down the chance of earning a fortune? As if. Listen, the taxis wouldn't bring in anywhere near what the other gear does. And anyway, it's a good cover, and that's it. As far as anyone else is concerned, I am a respectable businessman. Respectable? All right, OK. I know you don't approve of what I do, but don't forget, Something to pay for your nice little dream home over there, isn't it, eh? And it's getting me rich and all. Plus, nice little legit business on the side might just help to win my checky round into moving in. Oh, look out. Here comes Captain oh, Manor. Mr. Cockhill. I'm doing them all. Can I have a word, please? Sorry. Phone. Yeah. I wanted to question him about this taxi business he's running from the close. Oh, Carl. I do need to have a few words with you as well, as a matter of fact. It's about the workings and protocol of the Residents Association, now that you're a householder on the close. I've got a few simple forms at home that I'd like you to fill in, if you wouldn't mind. All oh, right, yeah, we'll have to arrange it sometime. See ya. But... Oh, wait. All right. Oh, is Emerson? Fine. Any idea when you're going to open the shop again? Well, I'm a bit busy with the kids at the moment. I'm teaching them from home. Oh, oh. Come in from there. Hi, hi. Yeah. Hiya. You working hard? Yeah. No, it doesn't look like you. Have you done any work at the moment? 
We were waiting for you to get back from the shops to help us. Ah, uh, well, OK, break time then. Yes. Right. You don't sound too disappointed about what's happened, do they? Yeah, anything to put off doing their work. <laughs> what are you looking at, son? What's in the bags? Well, just a few things for the house. And this. There you go, son. Happy birthday. Sorry, it isn't wrapped. Ta? What's on that for? I'm just going to make the flat a bit safer for us, aren't I? What's up, son? Nothing. Hey, you haven't started supporting Evan, have you? Hey, it's not from the markets or anything like that, you know. It's all good gear. But it's the old kit. It was from the shop. You changed kits at the start of the season. The new one's got a different colour. It doesn't matter, it's still red. What's that video doing rewinding? Have you two been watching telly instead of doing your work? Right, that's it. Back to work. But we were stuck. No wonder if you've been watching the telly instead of working. Listen, I could help. I hate this house. It's worse than being in school. It's like being locked up in a prison all the time. No, it's all right, we can manage. You just get started and listen to Lip. No, oh, no, this is too short and this is too clingy. You look great. Oh, I couldn't go out in this gear at my age. Get lost. You're not old. You've got a fabulous figure. And if you've got it, flaunt it. Yeah, I'm still going to be wearing stuff like this when I'm 60. No, oh, Rose. <laughs> Hiya. Doesn't she look that good in it? Doesn't she look a right cracker? She looks a right something. Um, we better be getting off. I know, yeah. Gone on all the day in an hour. I haven't even finished packing. <laughs> So, uh, if you want any of this stuff, just give us a shout and um, I'll pick the rest up when I get back. Yeah, OK. Um, look, have a nice holiday. Ta. See yous. Uh, we'll let ourselves out. What are you playing at? Look at this, Daisy. I'm only trying them on. Good, cos I certainly don't want you walking around dressed like that. What, do you want me to dress like an old maid? No, I just don't want you making a fool of yourself, that's all. Like these women who try clinging onto their youth for too long and end up looking like sad cases. I'm only trying to feel attractive, to feel good about our look. And you look great, but without all of this. Leave this gear to the likes of those two, Rose. You're the grandmother. Oh, right. Thanks for reminding me. Hey, thanks for helping out up there. Oh, it's all right. I think it was right about them needing a break then. Yeah, I suppose I shouldn't keep them hauled up in the flat for too long. Well, how about let me take them the pictures after? Oh, well, thanks, but I want them to do the proper school hours, you know. Well, I'll take them after four o'clock. There'll be a break for you as well. All right. Hey, do you fancy going the pictures with Katie later? Yes, please. Yeah, all right. OK, but only if you get all your schoolwork finished. Yes! Just give me on the kids for a minute. Jason. Come on, you two, back upstairs. Come on. What's that, Mick? What was all that about? Nothing. Well, it was in the car. Go on inside quickly. Oh, don't worry about it. We're all right. See ya. And nearly just a bit more. Hey, you. I've been trying to lose weight for this holiday. Don't be complaining I'm not heavy enough. Oh, I've done it. I think you're taking far too much of the anyway. All right, then you can't borrow any of it when we get there. Mm. How much of a time? Three hours, 42 minutes to take off. Mm, we've got plenty of time, yeah. Hey, <laughs> you love, you shouldn't have bothered coming home. We're going to pop in to say ta-ra. I wasn't feeling too well. Why? What's up? I don't know. Just feeling a bit jiggered. Oh, I'll make a brew, eh? Ta, oh, Jan. Hey, have you been overdoing it at work? No, no. Must be just all the worry, eh? You know about... You going away in that? <sighs> ah, so you are in. Yeah. No need to break the door down. I'm here in my official capacity. Oh, don't tell me as chairman of the BRA. Yeah, well, we all know what you are. Don't you ever get tired of announcing it? Well, it may be a triviality to you, but to your fellow residents, this association is the lifeblood of the community. Yeah. And you're Dracula. Now, about this taxi business you've started, the residents have been expressing their concerns. Oh, have they? Well, you can tell them to mind their own business. It is their business. When a peaceful close is turned into a taxi stand with cars coming and going all hours of the day and night. One or two cars, now and again. Where's the arm in that? Just look at all those oil patches that have started to appear, and they'll get worse. 
And what about the children? I would remind you that this is not a through road, and all that extra traffic is downright dangerous. This is all about me, isn't it? Hey, not the taxis. You'd all chuckle because I've moved in on the coast. That is not the case at all. We simply don't want our clothes clogged up all the time with noisy, dirty cars. You don't want me more like. Well, you can hardly expect the residents to invite you into their houses for tea, especially as you've been in most of them uninvited and departed with a video recorder on your arm. That's libel, that. I was caught in one house. That's all. All right, I admit I've made a few mistakes, but I've served me time. And now all I'm trying to do is to get together a decent, legitimate business. And what happens, eh? You'd all try and stop me from succeeding. That's nice. Typical. Look, I'm sure no one wants you to fail. It is just against the leasing arrangements on this house for you to operate this sort of business from it. Well, you can all disapprove as much as you like. Because then taxis are staying put. All right. Come on, Crex. OK. If you can just show me your operating licence and your planning permission, I'll leave you in peace. You're on. You heard what I said. In my official capacity, I have a right to see all relevant documentation. And if you can't provide it, I shall have no hesitation in informing the appropriate authorities and in seeking a legal order to ban you from trading from these premises. You're not going to give up on this one, are you? Certainly not. <sighs> right, give me some time to relocate. Seven days from today. If you're still operating then, I shall be forced into taking the necessary steps. Good day. Oh, I see what you mean about that oil. <coughs> Terrible, that, isn't it? Come on, girl. Right, I'll get the cases in the cab. See you, Ron. Hope you're feeling better soon. Thanks, Jan. Hey, you enjoy yourself now. Look after my bed for me. Are you sure you're gonna be all right? Yeah, yeah, don't you worry about me. You just have a lovely time. I don't know if I can, you know, not with you like this. Don't be daft. <laughs> How was our Josh when uh, you said goodbye to him? Oh, he's OK. I said he'd be back next week. Did he cry after you? No. I had a bit of a whinge, but I gave him a bag of crisp. He was made up. Yeah, he loves his food, doesn't he? Mm. <laughs> Mind you, I suppose it'll be a bedtime when he does cry for you. Or, like, every morning when he wakes up and you're not there. <laughs> Hang on. Are you trying to make me feel guilty here? Because if you are, it's not going to stop me going. No, no, love. I just... Well, I just want you to know how much we'll both miss you, that's all. You look after yourselves. Everything's bought that you need. Josh has settled at my mum's. Just see him when you can, eh? I'll ring every day. Make sure you're both well. Yeah, uh, you don't mind if I don't come to the door with you, do you, love? It's just... Well, I feel like I should have a little nap, you know? You sure I can't make it a butty before I go? No, no. Couldn't stomach it. You could, um... Passes me on giant tablets, though, if you would. There you go. Can I get you anything else? Just a glass of water, please. Come on, Ben. The taxi's waiting. There you go. Now I've really got to be going, eh? You look after yourself. And listen, don't you worry about me, you know. Poor little Josh. You just have a smashing time. Sure. Congratulations, three numbers in our first week. <laughs> yes, the winning formula worked, though young Lee and his computer should take part of the credit. So, uh, how are you going to blow your newfound wealth, then, mate? Hmm. Well, it's our ten pounds, isn't it? It's a syndicate. We all have equal shares, even though it is a uh, two pounds fifty each. Ah, uh, well, something at least. Yes. Oh, some other good news. You'll be vastly relieved to know that your neighbour will not be able to run his taxi operation from the place um. for very much longer. Oh, that's very good, but it uh, hasn't really bothered us all that much. Oh, well, nevertheless, at least it's over with. Well, I suppose so. Anyway, see you, Bing. Yeah, well done. See ya. Give me there. I can't go. You what? Well, it's on my mind, isn't it? Ron being sick. What happens if he has another heart attack? It didn't look that sick then. I think he was putting it on. Well, it's not like him to miss work, is it? He must be really bad. Driver, can we go back to Brookside Close, please? What about the holiday? Well, I 
have to make sure he's okay. I can't go unless I know he's all right. Well, look, we've got ages before the plane goes. Hey, do you think Jackie will be dead jealous when I tell her what she missed? Yeah. Katie. Did I guess what we've been safe? Tell me on the way home, the van's over here. Well, I'm just going to treat them to a burger. Don't worry, I'll make sure they get home safe and sound. Look, I'm sorry, but I shouldn't have gone along with all this. I just want to get them straight home. Dad? Dad? Oh, well, can't you just have a quick burger? No, just get in the van, eh? Come on, we're going home. to make sure you're OK and you're stuffing yourself with sausage butties and ale? Are okay? I just thought I'd better have something to eat, love, get my strength up. You're a fraud, Dixon. Oh, there's nothing wrong with him. He's just trying to make me cancel my holiday by making me feel guilty. Well, no chance. Hang on, love, I... The plane leaves in an hour. I can't believe I fell for it. Oh, ironing your trousers for a night at the Legion, are you? Sexy legs, Ron. Yeah. Well, not as sexy as the ones we'd be seeing in Mallorca. Bev! Bev! What is its peculiar fascination, or indeed obsession, on the part of the enthusiast? Why someone spends a substantial part of their life and wages resurrecting a piece of... I'm having an early night, Ed. No, so you can't speak, can you? What do you mean? You haven't said two words to me all night. Oh, yeah, and you've been really chatty. I'm going up. Are you coming? What for? You won't even speak to me, never mind anything else. The vintage car enthusiast is John Dowd and Massacre. So what's his or her motivation? And of course it's John Adams one. Hiya, how are you working? Sorry about the noise. I know it's late. Just wanted to get this finished. Oh, don't worry. It's usually us that makes it all. Finished anyway. I'm going to wake the kids. Oh, Mr. Johnson, I'm sorry to call so late, but... Uh, what are you doing here? I just wanted a minute of your time. Can't you just leave me alone, you and your daughter? Just hear me out, and then I'll... Mick, I'll go. I'll see you. Well, you're all right, Katie. Mr. Swift's just going. From one father to another, please. Won't you reconsider about saying something in my daughter's defence? No chance. Her lawyer's going to press for bail again, and he says... If you spoke in her favour, we may stand a good chance of getting her out. Your daughter needs locking up. She's dangerous. Jenny shouldn't be in prison. She should be at home, being looked after by her mother and me. No, she should be in prison, and for a long time. I don't want to see a Rome in the street ready to terrorise me and my family again. If we got her out on bail, she'd be with us. And even if she was capable of terrorising anyone, which she isn't, she'd be with us. Safe. I'm only safe while Jenny's locked up. If she got out, she'd come right back here again. And what if next time she went after my kids? Mr. Johnson, my daughter wouldn't lay a finger on your children. She loves children. She's a teacher. And if I can't persuade you to speak up for her, then we shall just have to press on without you. Well, I hope to see sense and leave her where she is. Her lawyer says we already have a good chance of getting her released. And when we do, we'll see she's no harm to anyone. Good night, Mr. Johnson. They won't let her go. They can't. She tried to kill me. All right, Nick, don't let him get you. Well, be careful, miss. Mr Johnson can have a disturbing effect on young women. He's already ruined my daughter's life. Well, get out. Just get out. Just because we can't make love doesn't mean to say you can't hold me, you know. <laughs> Hang on a minute. You haven't even acknowledged me all night. I'm frightened to say boo in case you kick off, and now you're complaining that I won't hold you. Well, you've been sulking all day because of me trying those stupid clothes on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Blame me. The simple fact is, Rosie, I don't know how to act with you anymore. To what are you saying? That we can't go on like this. Something had better change. Now, I don't know if getting on with this court case will help things, but I'll tell you this much, things better get back to normal soon. Well, after all that's happened, I don't know if things will ever be the same again.
What's going on? Do you know that fella you've been talking to? Do you know he's been following me for the last few days? Something has happened to my daughter, and I intend to find out what. So who was that? What did he want? Well, seeing as the police aren't doing anything to find out what's going on, I decided to hire somebody to find out the truth. I don't believe this. Well, I'm being watched by a private detective. Whatever it takes, I intend to get my daughter released. I want to know what you did to drive my daughter to take one of my guns to protect herself from you. Morning. Hiya. You don't know anything about this, do you? No, he's had that close sign up for a while now. You get no answer? Taking the skin off me knuckles, trying. I'm still on my wages from last week. I don't know what to suggest, love. He's been cutting himself off a lot recently. Looks like I'm out of pocket, then. Why don't you have a word with our Jackie and Katie next door? Maybe they know something. Better let me redundancy check with them. <laughs> Hello. Looks like Bing and Jean have joined the Adams family. You're not going to be long, are you, dear? I've just set aside your good luck, all people like Max and Patricia. I won't be a moon. Hey, Bing. What about this, then, eh? I wonder what the Residents Association are going to say about that heap of junk, then, eh? Indeed, right. I think an investigation's called for. Any sign of life? Not one I've been here, mate. Mind you, it must be worth a shifty, eh? In case there's some old dosser kipping inside. Doesn't look as if it's just been dumped there. I would think it's been deliberately parked. Mm. How's it going? Oh, great, apart from everything being about an hour behind. Can I help? Yeah, you could go and check the kitchen staff, see they haven't murdered the chef yet. Things have been a little tense. Will do. Anything else? Try and persuade me to call this whole relaunch idea off. A bit late for that now. I know. It'll get there. Yeah, but what if it doesn't? I mean, if we make a whole bunch of cock-ups tonight, we'll never get these customers back. Max, pessimism and panic are banned today. Only positive P-words. Look, Patricia, there is so much riding on this. A bit of panic may be constructive. No, look, the staff are all lined up. Your new menu's really exciting. The place is going to be packed. Why panic? Oh, all right, then. I'll do a bit of praying, then. <laughs> oh, God, what's he up to? When are the band due? Band? The band? I'd completely forgotten about them. Well, I'll ring them, make sure they haven't completely forgotten about us. Yeah. Aye, aye. Afternoon, Mr Farnham. Ah, oh, it's not like you to be so formal. Well, you know, just thought I'd show a little bit of respect now you've got a classy establishment. <laughs> so you're going to be changing the name of the Vessi now you're in charge? Well, we thought we'd have a change of image and uh, menu. But, of course, there's always a possibility of a name change sometime in the future. Oh, very good, very good. So today's the day, is it, eh? Mm. Listen, might be able to help you out later on. You know, if you want the place to look busy in there, me and Jackie will drop round. Uh, sorry, it's invitation only. That's all right. Verbal invites will do. Yeah. I mean, you and me were nearly business partners, weren't we, kid? Uh, guest list is way too full. You know, press, business clients, that kind of thing. I understand being a man of business myself. Mm. Well, I'll just uh, give you first call on any of my cabs later on, shall I? Oh, well, it's very thoughtful of you. You're not still operating from here, are you? No, no, temporary that. 
Actually, yeah, I'm in the process of setting up new premises as we speak. Mm. Don't fret. So listen, I'll tell you what, I'll call round at the Vesey later on and scatter a few cards round the tables in person, OK? That's a joke, isn't it? Max, you don't want people drinking and driving, Kit. I'm not having the place plastered with your tatty little cards. Hey, that's restraint of free trade, that. And it's also private property, and you're not going in there. Oh, I get it. What, cos I'm not one of your round table mates, is that it? Well, I'll tell you something, I'll be joining them soon. Me, I'm a legitimate businessman. God forbid. Max. Ah, don't tell me. The band of double books. No, no, the band are on their way, but apparently the chef's steaming drunk and crying into his gin. He's not. Said you worried for a minute. <laughs> No sign of life. No registration number. Oh, knock, eh? Yeah, I think you should. Hello? No answer came the stern reply. Careful, Ron. You barely touched it. David! Coming, dear. It just come off of me hand. Oh, I shouldn't worry, Ron. I can't see you being accused of vandalism with the state that thing's in. Anyway. Thought you'd be at that big relaunch of Grant's today. Or are they going to call it Grant now that they're going to go up market? No name change, old son. No clue on that thing. No, it's like the Marie Sylvest. Well, I just hope it doesn't presage the influx of a load of undesirable people. Come on, Jim, we'd better get going. You've got to change, my dear. I thought you were looking a bit funereal for a party. Anyone close, mm. was he? Poor Mr Woods. He was only 59. Mm. Suffered from angina all his life. Angina? Oh, right. Makes you think, doesn't he? Oh, he's going to be Mr. The Over 55s. Jean, I think he'd like us to celebrate his life, not mourn his death. Oh, I think at our age we can start expecting a funeral a week. Oh, dear. Yeah, well, you can't complain as long as you sat upright in the airs, can you? <laughs> You're a long time looking at that lid. Oh, thanks a lot, Ron. Cheer us up. Ta da, love. Uh, oh, Ron, by the way, any news from young Beverly? Nah, nothing. I bet she's having a rare old time, eh? You know what they say, when the cat's away. I'll tell you what, Bing, it's really quiet round there. To be honest with you, I'm really missing her. Oh, come on, old son. Make the most of it. A few wild parties will sort you out. Come on, David, we'll be late. Coming down. Uh, I expect that my invitation to the grand opening got lost in the post today. I expect so. Ta-da. Hey, Jackie. What? Do you know anything about that? heap of rubbish over there. Wasn't there when I come in. Maybe it's something to do with that Dill fella, you know. Maybe he's built a site kind of event. Looks like we're going to get invaded by hordes of them New Age travellers. Probably find some mad festival on here by tomorrow. <laughs> Why don't you open the door properly? Prefer not to. Well, there's only me and Sarah out here. We can talk all right like this, can't we? Sarah's coming about the wages she's owed from last week. Thanks, I'm sorry. Listen, I haven't been near the bank, I'm afraid. Well, couldn't you do it a check? I'd rather have my job back. Will you decide when you're going to open up again? When I'm ready, I suppose. Well, some people are wondering if you've shut down for good. Look, I'm tired of working all hours. I don't get enough time for myself or the kids. Well, if you stay short, you're going to have no money to pay your bills or buy anything for Leo and Gemma. Well, I haven't reached that stage yet. You're going to need money for food and that at some point. I've managed so far. <sighs> Look, you're happy working down there on your own, aren't you? Of course, yeah. Well, why not let Sarah carry on as she was before? Yeah, I could do all the ordinary stuff as well. I don't know. Well, at least it'll keep some money coming in for you. Mm. Sarah's got a kid to feed as well, do you remember? Yeah, I suppose so. Might even feel up to doing a couple of hours yourself. Yeah, maybe. Come on, eh, Mick? Give it a try. See how it goes. I will get the keys. God, is that really done in, isn't it? Oh, it's a good sign he's letting us reopen, though. I hope so. Great. Should you just take away wage out the till money? Whatever. I'll give the place a cleave here as well. Thanks. No, she five change. Thank you. Thanks, love. Hi. Mind if I go through top six? No, no problem. You carry on. Just use my place as a corridor. I just want to leave these fittings for the builders. How oh, we're going to have them trapes and three in again, then, are we? Well, most of the heavy work's done already. It's just fittings left to do, mainly. Oh, what a blessing. So it's not all bad news, then. You're looking very smart. Yeah, I'm on my way to the relaunch of Grant's restaurant. In fact, Hello. I thought I might Can see you there. Uh, no, no, I couldn't get away. You know, pressure's at work. 
course, I'd Maxi on begging me to go, like, but. Oh, I love. Well, needs must, right eh? For you. Excuse me. I won't be long. I love. Is the sun cracking the flags? Is that Bev? Yeah, yeah, they say it. Hey, listen, I hope you haven't been on too much sangria. Jackie, will you give me the phone? <laughs> yeah, you can say that again, love. Here he is. Hang on. Thank you. Hiya, love. You all right? It's really hard to hear her. Ask him to turn the music down. Listen, your mum rang... Your mum rang and she said that little Josh is fine, but he's missing you. So let... Bev? Bev? She's gone. Oh, her pesetas must have run out. Sounded like she was in a nightclub to me. Well, she is on holiday. At this time of day. Yeah, I think there's some uh, time difference thing, isn't there? Not that much, there isn't. Many thanks. Hey, hang on a minute. Do you know anything about that tatty old caravan parked outside yours? Afraid not. I wish I did. Bye. It's typical, that, isn't it? How come he gets an invite to Maxie's posh do and I can't? Jimmy. Hey, hey, kid. Give me a flight then. Oh, well, sir, should I be snooping round private property, eh? I was only having a look. More than welcome. Go ahead, I'll give you the guided tour if you want. Oh, I don't think so. It's disgusting. Yeah, it'll be fine once it's cleaned out, that. Oh, it sounds like there's rats or something living in it. Katie, do you mind? You're bad mouth in my new company Z office, are you? Give us a week, this place will be buzzing with business, I'm telling you. Well, whatever. All I'm saying is it's a mess. Looks like it should have been condemned years ago. Oh, well, even the big companies have to start somewhere, you know. Anyway, I haven't had it done up yet. Uh, well, knowing some of the old narcs round here, they'll want it blown up, never mind done up. I can take a bit of criticism, no probs. You're right, Brian. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Well, this is all very exciting. No, I reckon I'm all right. Well, it appears a little something to be good luck. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> Thanks for getting here early. Everything looks splendid. Mm. Well, none of this would have been possible without your help, and can't thank you enough. So, Max, is everything ship -shaped? Well, if you'd been five minutes early, you might have been commandeered into service in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, <clears throat> time to strike up the band and um, open the doors. Hang on, Max. Um, pep talk, eh? You know, thank the staff for their hard work. Oh, right, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Um, uh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> if I could just ha have your attention, please, just for a moment. Uh, if, uh, <laughs> thank you, Elizabeth. Um, thank you. Right, well, as you can see, we're just about ready to uh, reopen. Relaunch. And... Relaunch. <laughs> Relaunch. And I I'd just like to say thank you very much to all of you for all the hard work that you've put in. And remember, we may still be called Grants, but um, we've moved on from the British through and through dishes. And, uh, well, just as a reminder, what we're all about now is Cal Ital, which is the best of Italian tastes and ingredients mixed with Californian style cooking and presentation. So, um, lots of smiles and just really uh, sell the place. Thank you to Elizabeth I as well for all. Talk, not life story. Uh, right, okay, well. Um, Let's do it to them before uh, they all go down to the local chippy. <laughs> <coughs> right, uh, music maestro, please. That's it. <laughs> We've relaunched. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out with Mick. He seems to take more notice of you than me. No, oh, I don't mind helping Mick out. He's always been really nice to me. Yeah, we've always got on all right, really. It's horrible seeing him all screwed up, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think I should have left him alone till he was better? No way. I think we've got to try anything we can to help him. Hasn't he got any family? Well, I know he had a brother, but he hasn't been around for ages. Oh, some bad a good mate, though, isn't he? Oh, yeah, but I think he's wearing his holes at the moment. I don't think he's having some kind of breakdown, do you? I hope not. And what about his business? Well, if I just keep coming in the way they have been, we'll soon start making him some money. Excuse me. Deal parlour. Oh, hi. Hi. Looks like you've got a gate crusher. Oh, that's no problem. It's probably one of the crooked court or crowd. Or the dreaded Dixon dynasty. <laughs> Barry's the four. <laughs> Wouldn't want the turn of the evening to drop that, though. <laughs> Susanna. Ex-girlfriend. Uh, worse than that. Ex-wife. 
You're all right. Don't be worrying. Oh, oh, oh. Away. Oh, I must be mad trusting you. OK, OK, nearly there, nearly there. Watch the cab up oh. and over. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Keep those eyes shut. I am. Keep them shut. I am. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Open wide. Da da! What have you brought me here for? It's my new office kit. Well, our office. You know, for running the cars. Good, eh? Ah, oh, way. What? What's well, wrong when you said you were moving into new premises? You meant like an office and a building or something? Nah, I don't want to be bothering with all that. This will be perfect, kid. Loads of passing trade from the club and loads of room for the cars all along here. And have you got, like, legal permission for it? Kid, just leave all that sort of thing to me, will you? I'm sorting the lot. Hey, and I've even sorted out a new name for the company and all. You're going to love it. What are you going to call it? Wait and see. Oh, not cowboy cars. Like your cowboy cut shop. No. Well, go on, then. I have to wait and see. Look, go on, I'm wasting. No, I mean, you'll have to wait until I've got my big official sign-up, you know, ready for the official launch. Yeah, well, as the licence is in my name, can't I have a sneak preview? Well, I haven't painted it yet. Ah, way. What? Listen, I'll be as own when you're ready to send out your official launch invites. Yeah, all right. And don't expect Ron to be too keen on your new premises, you know. He's already moaning, Jimmy. Ha! Don't be worrying about him. Listen, he'll soon change his tune when he sees the amount of trade I'm drumming up round here. Ain't kid? We're gonna be big, you know. And I mean... big. Do you see who I see? Oh, my Lord. So, welcome to our modest little eatery. You've been empire building, Max. <laughs> I'm impressed. Very impressed. Well, I've chosen a hectic day. Absolutely. Please, uh, excuse me. Help oh. yourself. Thank you. Anyway, uh, how are you? Well, still knocked out by your fabulous success. <laughs> it's not been an overnight thing. I had to work very hard. Sure, but now you can just sit back and reap the rich rewards. <laughs> I don't know about sitting back, but, um, fingers crossed. Anyway, come on, tell all. How's Matthew in it? Oh, jet-lagged into oblivion. <laughs> They're sleeping over at Mum's tonight. Good. And, um, what about your Andrew, the, uh, the dream man? I mean, I haven't seen him in any, uh, Hollywood blockbuster movies. Not that I've had the chance, of course, because I've been so busy. You're going to say, I told you so. I can hear it coming. Andrew has moved on. Decided the British family of three tagging on wasn't quite the designer accessory he thought it would be. <sighs> oh, I should have expected it, really. Typical actor. Fell for the romantic young lead and off they went into the Pacific sunset. Wasn't one of the Baywatch babe types, was it? <laughs> She's a completely natural person. Yeah. Completely silicone-free zone. Completely brain cell-free, too. And what about the kids? Uh, they were getting really settled in, weren't they? Oh, Matthew really was. <laughs> Used to love playing softball with Andrew. They used to do little league stuff together all the time. Oh, poor Matthew. Andrew's leaving didn't affect them in school. Not really. Emily's been a star pupil in the fourth grade, and Matthew's really looked forward to starting junior high. If we go back. Are you not planning on coming back to England permanently, are you? Well, the children have missed seeing you so much. And <laughs> then, really? Almost as much as I've missed you. It's really good to uh, see you again, you know. Hello, stranger. Hi, Patricia. Marvellous to see you. And you. Sorry about turning up unannounced. Oh, that's all right. It's not as if we've not got enough food or anything. I'm very impressed with your new setup. Thank you. Thank you. Everything all right, John? Yes, um... I'm afraid I'm going to have to drag Max away. Can't really have him favouring one customer over another, can we? <laughs> that's all right. Don't worry about me. I'm used to eating alone at the moment. I've asked uh, Susanna to stay for the do. Um, that all right with you? 
Marvelous idea. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> This is Siegel's corner. <laughs> Looks like. Uh, can I get you a drink? Shouldn't we be introduced first? My name's Dill. I'm a business acquaintance of Max's. Oh, right. Nice to meet you. And you're Susanna. My reputation obviously goes before me. Mick? Mick, I need to know if you're going to come and take over from me. I'm due to finish in a few minutes. You won't answer the door. Mick, can you hear us? Mick, it's Katie. You all right? Mick, I need to know if you're going to take over from me if I finish it at my normal time. I said I wasn't really ready to open up again. Well, uh, look, I've got nothing else to do and I'm looking for a job. Would you mind if I come with you? I don't mind staying late to help out. If you really want to. I suppose I could use some money coming in. Right, I'll drop the keys back up when I'm finished, OK? Yeah, thanks. Excuse me. Yeah. I wonder what's brought Susanna back on the scene. A broomstick for her? <laughs> hello, you two. Oh, hello, darling. Enjoying yourselves? Absolutely lovely. First class, Patsy. I'm very impressed. <laughs> A glut of gastronomic gratification. <laughs> and um, what about our surprise guest from America? Yes, you must have been furious, but don't let it spoil your evening. No, oh, of course not. A sprinkling of arsenic on her char grilled tuna should do the trick. <laughs> That's my girl. There you go. Bye now. See ya. One large Key West, one garlic bread. Pizza praise. Do you want to a Mexican? Right, that'll be at least half an hour, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but we've got new staff on. OK, bye. Six twenty-five, please. All right, any problems? All a bit busy, but Sarah's keeping us on top. Do you want to give us a hand for a while, do you? I appreciate you want to talk me out like this. Oh, I'll be glad of the extra cash till I get a proper job sorted. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. It's a legal system in this country that needs sorting out. Oh, right. I don't know much about it, really. I got in touch with the police again about this nutter, Jenny. She's due in court again, they said, to consider bail. It's good, though, isn't it? Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Well, doesn't it mean she'll get tried and locked up permanently? Oh, it's only a bail hearing. It means I'm more than likely going to let her out. But they shouldn't be able to do that, should they? I'll have to watch she did. Uh, we'll see. Just make sure you look up properly. Of course, yeah. So, how is Susanna? She's fine. I noticed she hasn't got Andrew the toy boy in tow. No serious break, I'm afraid. He's given her the biggie. Poor love. Now, you sounded almost as if you meant that. Is this just a flying visit? No, actually, she's planning on um, moving back here permanently. That is a serious breakup. You didn't mind me inviting her, did you? I couldn't very well throw her out in the streets. No, I don't mind. We must ask the staff to keep their eyes on the till. Oh, Patricia. And anything that isn't nailed down. Now, that is awful. Especially married men. Yeah, well, still, he's a, he's a fast worker. Well, I hope you told her that we were hopped up to the eyeballs to get this place up and running. Well, no, not exactly. I didn't want to give the impression that we were unsuccessful. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, we'll just wait for the letter from the solicitor, shall we? The one pleading for a substantial increase in maintenance payments. She wouldn't. She's not really like that. No. Not really. Oh, get real, Max. She can smell the colour of your money from 7,000 miles away. In fact, if I know Susanna, that's exactly why she's here. Well, this time, she'll have me to deal with.
Oh, well, I might have known that thing would have something to do with you. Yep. Ready for the scrap man, is it? Oi, this is the foundation stone of the Corkill Empire. Oh, yeah. And what empire's that, then? You'll see. Well, knowing you, you'll be like that Nero fella, fiddling while Pompey burns. What are you up to up there, anyway? Do it yourself graffiti, is it? Do you mind? I'm in Michelangelo mode, mate. But he didn't have to put up with some old biddy mother than him. Yeah, but you're not painting the pristine chapel, are you? I suppose all the shop keeps up in arms about it, are they? Right, so that's the takings for last night, and this is the float I kept for today. Got the hang of it pretty quick. Ah, she's got a good teacher. So, shall we just carry on until you tell us otherwise? Yeah, that suits you. All I can think of doing at the moment, though, is selling up and going off to a new area. Well, I don't think there's any need to move. You just need to give yourself a bit of time. Uh, we're going to have to open up now. Oh, would you mind staying down here with us until we get the oven started up? I suppose so, if you think it'll open out. Well, I don't mean for you to stay down once we're open. I do understand, you know. <laughs> OK, you show me what you think you should be doing. I won't be able to stay too long, though. I'm going out after. Oh, good. Anywhere nice. The magistrate's court. Make sure they keep soft girl locked up. And to get that private detective off my back. You must be exhausted after all that false smiling yesterday. Oh, I enjoyed it. Just glad it went so well. In spite of Susanna, such a shame about her splitting up with Andrew. Well, we did it. Did we? Yes, we did. We relaunched Grants. We didn't poison anyone, nobody got too outrageous, and it was a success. All our very own. Mm -hmm. Until Susanna decides to take her slice of the action. <laughs> she seemed quite tired and emotional by the end of the evening. Oh, I put that down to a bit of jet lag, really. We used to call it being sozzled in my day. <laughs> when are you going to see the children? Well, uh, Susanna's mother rang, so I'll call in on my way round to the restaurant. Oh, well, give them my love. I will. Oh, have you seen David yet? Oh, sorry, no. Oh, so he hasn't told you he's taking me out to eat, then? Oh, anywhere nice. Oh, yes, we've found this little place called Grant's. I'd highly recommend it. Well, he really must have been impressed with last night, then. No, I think he really wants to see how his cash is being spent. <laughs> well, let's hope it lives up to his expectations, right. I'll see you later. Yeah, tell Susanna I was asking after her. All right. Let's hope her hangover isn't too mild. Cheese! <laughs> uh, OK, look at this, look at that. Good likeness to your Polly, that, isn't it, eh? Oh, it's brilliant, Lou! Mm. Listen, Mum's gonna kill me, you know, drinking bubbly at dinner time. Oh, forget about him, will ya? You are surely not contemplating running your taxi business from this monstrosity. Yeah. You shoved me off the coast, didn't you? I had nowhere else to go. Well, I can tell you now. The Residents Association will have something to say about this. Oh, good. All publicity is good publicity. You're right there, Kurt. Nice one. I can assure you, Corkio, that you're depositing yourself here will not remain unchallenged. Well, bang goes his local residence discount. <laughs> hey, listen, love. Hey, we will get a free copy of the paper, won't we? It's a free sheet anyway, soft on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, mm. can we get copies of the picky? Kid, it's all arranged, all arranged. Got one of my drivers going down to get some later on. Cos I can do things like that, can't I? I do, cos you're the boss yeah. now. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, mwah. I'm gonna get a big blow-up one done and all sticking on the wall in there. Oh, great. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that lot, eh? Hey, wow. got a real ring to it, honey. Yeah. Corky cars, corky cars. <laughs> <laughs> right, listen. Mm. I'm going inside now. Wish me luck. Go ahead, go on, yeah. Hey, listen. Tried the boss's chair for size and all while you're there. Hey, Mike! You got a minute, kid? Listen, uh, got a few cards here for you and your mates, you know, uh, whenever you need a cab, you'll know where we are now. That's out here. I'm not flush enough to be getting cabs anywhere. Ah, mate. Well, listen, if you fancy a job, I'll be taking on a few new drivers soon. Well, they haven't passed me test yet. Oh, well, listen, uh, maybe you're just the fella for the night controller's job. He only needs a driver, desk and a radio for that. No, I don't think so. Bit of extra cash for you, kid. Look, to be honest with you, I don't think me half a little bit too happy with me working for you. You know, after that, Tony and that. Yeah, well, that's... Well, the office there, you know, if you change your mind. Any time. Genuine. Yeah, OK. I doubt it, though. This is real, isn't it? I'm not dreaming, it's legit. Love, stop worrying, will you? It's all above board. And this is only the start, kid. We'll get a proper office as soon as I can. 
Yeah, might even open up a few more of these. Start to have a little change. Hang on. Hmm? Let's not run before we can walk, eh? It'll be Corky Cars International soon, the way you're going. <laughs> like the sound of that one, yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, listen, do you want to wait inside? I'll be with you in a minute. Who was that? A uh, prospective driver, love. Put the word out, I'm interviewing you now. Do you know, I don't believe this. You being an employer? Oh, well, no more skivvying for me. Race, listen. I'll let you get on. All right, good. And you'll be careful, you know, no time wasters. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, I never thought I'd see the day you run in your own business. Hey, mm. our business. Our business, yeah. See you later. Hey, Jack. We're on our way up, you know, kid. And don't it taste good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Nice to see me old customers sniffing me out already. But listen, I don't want you coming round here again, OK? Right then. How much have you got to spend? Suppose everybody's talking about that heap of junk parked outside, are they? Oh, the Moby, you mean? No, I mean that fish box on wheels. Oh, it's a disgrace, isn't it? You must be having a house full round for tea. Oh, I've got me in-laws coming. Oh, I thought it was someone special when I saw the tin salmon. Irene used to swear by the stuff for her visitors. Yeah. Brain food fish, do you reckon, don't they? Never liked it myself. That's, uh 1070, please, love. Nah, nah, you. Actually, I'm surprised that Jimmy Corkill hasn't been moved on with that uh, monstrosity. Uh, typical. Thanks a lot, love. Ta. Ta. See ya. I should have known that waste of space would be involved. I thought at first it might be Mystic Meg with the crystal ball. Ta, love. Have you heard from your bed yet? Oh, just a quick call, you know. A Pesetas ran out. Well, if you want any messages, send in to her. You tell me, and then I'll tell Peter. Peter? You mean Salon Peter? That's right. Oh. I've just been having a laugh with him. Oh, he's the right one, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, so I've heard, but, um, why would you give him messages for Bev? Because he's off to Majorca to do a demonstration hairdressing. Get away. Majorca? In front of all the top stylists from all over Europe, apparently. You know, at one of them hairdressing convections. Oh, right, yeah. He said he might look up your Bev anime, you know, just for a laugh, like. Well, I better get back. I'll see you, love. ta -ra. Oh, oh, hiya, it's Ra, likewise. <laughs> You're five minutes late, you know. Cheek, I didn't get out of here until ten minutes into my dinner hour. Just booked myself in for a wash and blow. Anyway, I'm back now. So I'm all right to go on the warpath, then? Oh, not with Jimmy, please, Ron. Look, he's really trying hard to get a legitimate business going for us. Yeah, well, I was thinking of going and seeing that Peter one next door. Then after I've shown him the error of his ways, I thought I'd go round and direct your Jimmy to the nearest Jippo camp. Look, Ron, he's desperate to try and make an honest living for himself, you know. It'd be a terrible kick in the teeth moving him now. It might even make him go back to his old ways. He's really trying hard this time, Ron, honest. Jackie, it's bad enough him moving on to the close, but this is taking things too far now. Having to stand here all day. Looking at him out there. Yeah, but he's moving into an office soon. You won't see anything of him then. Yeah, well, I'll go and see that nine bob note in the salon first. I'll hang fire on your Jimmy. For now. Do I look smart enough for going to court? Of course you do. You don't have to come with me, you know. Oh, I want to. I thought it'd be interesting. It's not just to keep an eye on me, then. <laughs> hey, Bugalogs, can I have a word out here, please? Come to book in for a makeover, have you, Mr. Dick? I've just heard that you're not a Mallorca. Yeah, so? Only coincidentally, the same place my Bev is. So it's a big place, you know? Yeah, and it's a small world, isn't it? You know, you being there the same time she is, like. It's a hair care convention. I've been on loads in me time. Listen, Pedro, I'm not entirely sure which side you back for, but I want you to get this perfectly clear. I don't want you having a bit of fun with my Beverly, so stay away. What, me? With your Beth? Oh, yeah. As if I would. 
Why? What's wrong with her? Look, I don't even know why I'm talking to you about this. Yeah, well, whatever else you get up to, make sure it's not with me. Uh, excuse me. I don't like being threatened, you know. Hey, hey, I'm threatening no one. Do you want me to call Mrs. Morrison through, Peter? Yeah, I'll be in in a minute. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, love. Everything's fine. We're just sorting out any misunderstandings that might occur, aren't we, Pedro? All right, Ron. Hey, and that's for you, Corkill. Ron? Who scratched his scab then? Was only going to say hello. Wish him all the best. Hey, Bing. What do you make of the latest edition, then? Well, it must be contravening some bylaw or other. I think an investigation's called for. I think a box of matches would get rid of it quicker. All he's done is move that blasted eyesore from the close over here. Typical of that scally cork. Oh, scally's too mild an expression for him. He's an out-and-out -out villain. Ah, now where's the man who should be moving him on? Sorry. Well, you are the letting agent now, aren't you? And what exactly am I supposed to be doing? Getting up a lynch mob for your ex-employee. Sorting out that example of visual pollution over there. I haven't had a chance to confront the culprit yet. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if people thought it was your idea in the first place. It's nothing to do with me. They generally associate cars with La Luth. I kicked the cars out of the club because I thought it lowered the tone of the place. Now, there's no way I'm putting up with them being run from that heap of scrap, not right on my doorstep. Now, that's what we need more of round here. Fight and talk. Look, nothing illegal, please. I don't want the good name of the BRA besmirched. Who's involved in the BRA? He'll get the message from me pretty quick. Hey, if you need any help, you know where I am. How time that cork he'll got the bums rushing round here. Him and that mobile scrappy of his. Uh, we've brought you some flowers, love. Yeah, thought it might help you get the place looking a bit more homely, you know. Oh, thanks. Come in, I'll just pop them in the water. Oh, haven't you got it looking nice? Oh, well, you deserve a treat. But if my cooking tastes anything like a treat. No mm. way, of course it will. Yum, yum. Salad, my favourite. Shut up. It's only three places laid. Oh, you don't think you're in our car to fall out again, do you? Already? I hope not. The place could be a bit fuller. It's only the first week. Yeah. You know, I can't believe all these things are supposed to be Californian or Italian. I mean, cheese and filo pastry, that sounds Greek. Wild mushrooms are French, surely. David. I have just foregone any hope I ever had of travelling round the world in order to help Max and Patricia out financially. It is of no comfort to me to hear you extolling the gourmet delights of the five continents I'd rather be eating them in. Max? Look, um, squid in its own ink. I mean, do people really want to eat that sort of thing? Well, it's very popular. Well, in all honesty, I think I preferred the old menu. At least you knew where you stood with best of British cuisine. I think David's asserting some of his shareholder power. Oh, I see. M menu approval. Oh, well, uh, I suppose in law, he's not exactly what you'd term a shareholder. More a benevolent loan shark. <laughs> Here it is, core four. Which way is that now? Um, it's down there, I think. There's some Katie here. Do you think I'm mad for coming down here? I know I don't have to be here for the hair and that, but... Well, if you go off home, you're only going to be stuck there, will you? And, well, after what she did to you, I think it's only right you should be worried. Thanks. I know people probably think I'm off my head the way I've been acting, but... I'm scared, Katie. I've never felt so scared. It's like one of those films, you know, where they... Fella says he's seen an alien and no one believes you. You start doubting yourself. Well, at least being here will know for sure that he refused to bail. And you'll feel happier. Yeah, we'll see. You know where our fellas had the private detective trail him. You don't like I'm the criminal. Oh, it's awful. It must be terrible for you going through all this. I can't explain the way I feel, really. I don't get much sympathy from people. I know that. Listen, uh, thanks for coming. No, I don't mind. I don't think I could face going in there by myself. Come on, let's get it over with, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you can sit down, you 
know. Uh, I wouldn't mind a bit of a nosy round while we're here, you know. Of course. Come on. Um, isn't that Carly, love? That door's made him going to work at short notice. Oh, He's a bit knocked. Mm. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, no. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, well, it's not exactly how I'd decorate a house. Oh, are you going to be allowed to alter it then? Well, we're just doing little bits and pieces to start off with, you know, putting posters up for background mm. stuff. Ah, well, love, you'll soon have it the way you want it. Do you uh, mind us having a nose? Of course not, no. Mm. Oh, so uh, which is yours and Carl's room then? Uh, we'll, we'll spoil for choice, really. That's Becca's room. Mm. Uh, I'll go and check on them spots. <laughs> right. Oh, come on, Carl. I can afford a place to sit. Uh, he just seems to be getting on really well with the fella from the club. Oh. I think he got a good deal on the rent. All right. <laughs> Must be getting a seriously good deal. This place is twice the size of ours. It's typical of our car landing on his feet. Yeah, well, all our cars gears in there, and the bed's been slept in. Oh, maybe Goldilocks has been round. Yeah, the separate bedrooms. All that's in this one is Sarah's stuff. All oh, right. Maybe things aren't as unky done as we first thought. Mm -hmm. See, this is the point I was making here. Have I been in a court before? I have. In the dock. That's bad enough just being here. Being here on trial. That's really bad news. Especially when you're innocent. Well, at least you know Jenny's not innocent. At least she deserves to be in the dock. I hope the magistrates see it the same way. Um, I wondered if I could have a quick word about Susanna. She wants more money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, um, <clears throat> I, I, I know you're not keen, but um, just to keep the peace, would there be any chance of having her around for dinner one night next week? I want to keep up the contact, for the kids' sake. After all she's done to us, Max, you want me to cook for her? Socialise with her? <laughs> Why keep up the animosity? I still have to see her, occasionally. She's the mother of my children. She split you and me up, Max. Now, look, that is in the past. It won't happen again. I have no feelings for her whatsoever. But I still don't see why we have to be enemies. I suppose I don't have any option, do I? Well, we'll just have to make sure we hide Thomas's piggy bank. Oh, come on, she's not a petty thief. Well, she manages to take every other penny we make. Look, the maintenance is for the children's... <sighs> look, you don't really have to have a round if you don't want to. No. It's all right. I think I can find a way to cope with her for one evening. Oh, well, nice one, Sarah. We'll come to this cafe again, I reckon, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Thanks again. Yeah, see ya. Yeah, Tarano. Tarano. I can't believe our car's living in the biggest house on the close. Oh, man, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, here's Jackie already. Didn't think she'd be round, yeah? I've asked her to pop round for a chat about the hospital and that. Oh, nice. Oh, Eddie, just the man. Need a quick word about the magic lottery numbers, Elton? Oh, yeah? Now, you know I've been analysing the numbers that come out most frequently. Uh, none of which it has. Exactly. So, I think we should change them. Oh, I don't think we should, really, Bing. It might put the mockers on us changing them now. Oh, well, that's hardly a rational approach, if you don't mind saying so. Well, it's Rosie I'm thinking of. She's only a rational when there's a Z in a month. It's taking a week to remember the numbers we're doing now. Well, have a think about it, old son, because we need to do something if we're going to win that elusive jackpot. Ah, well, we'll see. God knows we could do with it, eh? <laughs> Over and out, Turbo. <laughs> Hello, Mr. P. Come on in, what can I do for you? After the cab. Mr. Corkill, I've just got two things to say. Oh, yeah, fine away. One. I'm not impressed by this new business opportunity you seem to have created for yourself right outside my club. Oh, is that right? Well, let me tell you something. This place is going to be a little gold mine, kid. And your punters will be made up. They don't have to go walk in the streets to find a ride home. And two, if you don't arrange to have it moved, it will be arranged for you. Are you threatening me? Just availing you of the facts. Oh. Well, you have got your facts wrong. Because corky cars are going nowhere. I'm here to stay. Understood? Oh, and another thing. I'm the old man now. I don't work for you anymore. So do one, will you? Right. 
I'll be on the garage if you want me. Mm -hmm. Be a sniffer girls talking is off, eh? <laughs> I know me place. <laughs> Never hear my Jimmy say that yet, oh. so. Just go through, love. Oh, thanks, love. Oh. Not bad houses, these, are they? No, no, not bad at all. We've been quite pleased, you know. You know, my Jimmy's trying every trick in the book to tempt me next door. Oh, you should go for it, love. Be nice having you as a neighbour. I'll see. How are things with you, anyway? No, oh, no. Do you want me to be honest, or should I lie through my teeth? That bad, eh? Worse. Are you both still keeping your distance, like? I thought I'd maybe be getting back to normal by now, Jack. Yeah, but love, you've had a big operation, you know. I mean, something like that, it takes a long time to get over. You're not good me. It's like, well, you don't want to eat when you come back from the dentist, do you? <laughs> Listen to me, what a stupid thing to say. No, I know what you mean. Only, um, well, after the dentist, you've got to start eating again to live, haven't you? I mean, not like sex. I mean, you can live without that. Well, uh, I mean, at least I can. But it's killing Eddie. Oh, well, I suppose I'll have to just hope he'll be patient. Well, unless you just, you know, lie back and think of England. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> We've all done that at some time, haven't we? You never know. You might start to enjoy it. <laughs> So, for these reasons, we have decided to refuse bail. Mick. Mick. Please, say something. Mick, don't just ignore me. Don't let them lock me up again. Say something. Please, just get me out of here. Please, Mick. Come on, let's go on. Mick, why are you doing this to me? Take it out, please. Mick. Please, come I on. Loved you. She's gone now. She's gone okay. Yeah, but for how long? What if she turns up again in a few months? I'm never going to be free of her. <laughs> 